Hi friends, myself Dr. Ankur Jain, MBBS MD Secretary from PGIMS Rohtak. Now I am here to discuss pros and cons of secretary as a career option. First, we talk about good things, pros, pros of secretary. First is work-life balance. Secretary is having very good work-life balance. During residency, although emergency duties are there, but once you are done with residency, then it's a totally OPD branch. You can decide your own OPD timings. Most of the secretaries do OPD 3-4 hours in the morning, 3-4 hours in the evening. So it is having very good work-life balance. Second is easy to migrate. If you want to go abroad, it's very easy with secretary in comparison to other branches. So many juniors, so many seniors are well settled in Australia, UK. So secretary is a good branch if you are thinking to go abroad. Third pros is terminal branch. You may consider it as terminal branch, although super specialty, just like child secretary, geriatric secretary, uh, de addiction secretary, DM are there. Few fellowships, uh, one year fellowship is present in NIMHANS, but seats are very limited. In fact, MD secretary is taking care of all these super specialty very nicely. Means you can choose one of these specialty in clinical practice immediately after MD. So you can consider it as terminal branch. Next is early settlement. I found that usually three year residency is sufficient to start your private practice. No need to do SRship like other branches. Moreover, there is little investment to start your own clinic. Sometimes we usually say it's a branch of table and chair. Next is personal growth. With continuous interaction with patient, you get insight into human behavior, emotions, thoughts, which can be applied to your personal upliftment. I have seen many other psychiatrists and I have felt myself more emotionally stable after my MD psychiatry. So it is very good for personal growth, personal upliftment. Next is research scope. There is still so much to discover about human brain. In India, I know there are only few institutes which will help you to fulfill your desire of research. But if you are planning to go abroad, there are ample opportunity of research. Now we come to cons. I found no cons in psychiatry, but it's quite subjective. Let me point out few cons. First is potential stigma. When you will tell your parents about taking psychiatry, there are chances of resistance from their side as they have picture in their mind of 20 years back when psychiatrist was called Pagaloka doctor, mental doctor, but this stigma is going down. Now society see you in respectful way. Second cons is lack of jobs. This is true that if you are thinking of jobs after MD psychiatry, you will be disappointed. In the last, I would like to mention choose psychiatry only when you have real interest in subject. Yes, dropout rate is very high. So hope this discussion would help you to decide psychiatry as your career. Thank you.